hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we're gonna be taking a bit of a longer job we're gonna be coming out of Gallup here and here on the menu it says we're gonna be headed to Clovis and their BNSF we're gonna be taking anhydrous ammonia which is 37,015 pounds um, as you can see, we'll be getting nineteen thousand eighty dollars from this job, and we have a lot of extra time to finish this job. So let's go ahead and take a look at the menu or at the map to see what route we'll be taking. So here you can see we're just outside of Gallup here, and sorry, menu's being weird. We're gonna be going through Albuquerque here. And I don't think we're going to be hitting any of the question marks um, or anything through here. But then we're going to be taking this turn just before that town. And then we're going to be at BNSF. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get back into the truck and get it started up. All right, here now in the truck. Go ahead and get it started up. And we'll go ahead and roll the windows down just a little bit to get some fresh air in the cabin. Alrighty, and let's go ahead and get on the road. I think this is one of my first times being here in a plant like this. And I'm using no sound mods for this video. And in my opinion, this is one of the better sounding trucks in the base game here. With no, no sound mods or anything. Weird. It seems like the speed bump just didn't even register. Anyways, so last week, some of you may have seen the video that I uploaded on Microsoft Flight Simulator and that series. And if you did stick through the video, you saw just how many issues I was having, and how bad the video was, the audio was really quiet, and it just it just wasn't really a good video overall. I'm gonna go ahead and put the windows up just so you guys can hear me a little better here. So yeah you may have seen how bad that video was and I'm gonna be taking some steps to ensure that that doesn't happen again and I'm still kind of tweaking my audio trying to get that right I've been watching the the mixer on my recording software and it seems like I'm kind of competing with the truck as far as audio goes which isn't too too good so I'm probably going to be turning that down here at some point in the video. Turning down the sound of the game audio, I mean. 
I think the main reason it's so loud is just because of the bass of the engine. I do just want to apologize if I sound a little congested still. Still kind of getting over my cold, I guess that's what it is. It's just very weird. It's just clung to me so long. I hope these videos aren't getting too repetitive. Um, I think I am going to swap which one I do first. I think I am going to do the American Truck Simulator purchase of a truck first before Euro Truck Simulator since we're now in episode 14 here, I believe. So, yeah. And we, we, have, a, we have a good amount of money. After this job, we should be at around 130000 so we could buy a used truck without a loan at this point, most likely. Which weren't, the used trucks weren't implemented when we started this series, so. It'll be a little interesting. And I'm still kind of getting used to my settings here. I just did my dead zone of my wheel, so it's going to be a little less responsive. I just need to jump in this left lane here. Oh, okay. I don't usually like cutting over two lanes, but I kind of had to do what I had to do there. right here I'm gonna go ahead and get the thumbnail shot so I'll see you guys in just a second and I'm back just a really pretty sunset right there so back what I was saying back to what I was saying um, yeah I adjusted my dead zones a little bit just to uh, ensure that my cruise control is working properly I believe that it was in this save where my cruise control just wasn't working and for the longer jobs I do prefer to have cruise control. So last week you may have noticed that I posted a tripod training video which I haven't posted in a little while as well there was nowhere else I could really go with my old tripod as it was just far too shaky. Um, well I had two of them. One of them worked a little better than the other one but I think I, ha I had a piece that broke on it and then my first ever tripod that I got, which was the worst of the two, it had a leg that broke off. Well, not a leg. It was one of the rubber, the rubber feet, I guess you would call it, that ended up breaking off as um, it was packed incorrectly. So I had to deal with that for a little while, and then I had another tripod which the height extension broke on that so I couldn't boost the tripod or boost up the camera height if I needed to um, but it was also very jittery as far as when I move the camera horizontally it's fine but then when I go to move it up vertically to follow the aircraft it would get very jittery I couldn't move it smoothly in small increments. It would just get really jittery and shaky. So last week I published a video with my newest tripod. And if you if you all haven't seen the community post, this tripod is really, really nice compared to my old one. And I still think it's really nice, just period. 
it's it's got a fluid head on it which makes panning a whole lot smoother and it's actually able to support the weight of the camera but I'm still just getting used to this tripod as it's a little more advanced compared to my older ones. I'm going to go ahead and take the time to turn down the game audio now, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So yeah, the newer tripod is a lot better. Why am I in neutral? That was really weird. I guess maybe since I went back to main menu. I don't know. And it's looking a little dark out here. I mean, obviously it's nighttime, but you know it's still looking pretty dark. And I think what we're hauling, well not what we're hauling, but the trailer that we're using is a newer trailer. I haven't seen it before. Um, feel free to let me know if you know when this trailer was released or what trailer this is because I haven't seen it before. I do have the, the Load King pack, trailer pack, and I can't remember if there's another one or not. Truck is like shaking all over the road. But yeah, I have one more plane spotting video coming out next week. And then after that, I think I'm all caught up. And I'm thinking about, um, Posting some pictures that I've gotten from past trips, such as Greensboro or Piedmont Triad, um, and then some pictures that I've gotten at Lynchburg, as I didn't have my camera when I did Dulles or Roanoke. Oh gosh, there we go. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna have to be going back to my older dead zone as this is uh, really weird. Also, I know it seems like I'm going a little fast, but I'm just trying to keep up with the flow of traffic as it can get dangerous if you're driving too slow. There we go. I can go ahead and drop it back to 60 or 55 now. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and adjust that dead zone back to what it was. I'll be right back. Sorry for so many cuts in this video, by the way. And I'm back with a much more responsive wheel. This is an interesting area. I don't know if I've driven through here before, or at night at least. It just looks really dense for such an... I think this is a little bit of an older add-on, if I'm not mistaken. So, next week will be Euro Truck Simulator 2. I haven't decided on what the video is going to be about yet. Um, and then Microsoft Flight Simulator, probably Neofly again. I'm not sure when I'll be doing my next video with a mod, as I don't really have any more. I just had the 182 and the improved aircraft lights and runway lights. And then after that I'll just be repeating the cycle and my plan is to have one no commentary video in the rotation so what I mean by that is last week or what was that two weeks ago no three weeks ago I believe that was the Z mods video but then I actually was sick so the ETS2 video had to be no commentary as well. 
So, I'm going to have one no commentary video going through the rotation. So, this week I won't have one since I had two or through this rotation. I won't have one, but then in the next rotation I will. And the rotation is just American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator 2, and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And one rotation is just three weeks of videos on each of those. So one week I'll have ATS, the next week I'll have ETS 2, and then the next week I'll have MSFS. This is cool through here. I think this might be like the OG crossing of bridges and stuff before Texas came out. Also, it's really weird when I do a lot of these videos. It ends up being nighttime almost every video. And it's just so weird. It, it's just never daytime. For modded videos, I almost always change that. But for series videos, I don't change that just for, I don't know, I guess for realism. I'm hoping that the truck isn't too quiet in the actual video, but feel free to give me feedback. I had a viewer reach out and tell me that my, I believe it was my Microsoft Flight Simulator videos, the, that my audio was way too quiet. I was speaking too quiet and the game was way too quiet, so I went ahead and adjusted after that. Um, but then of course, last video happened. But before that, I think it had been going pretty well. And of course, I'm not a real um, trucker or pilot, so I'm probably not going to be doing everything totally realistically. So I'm just a just a simmer. Sorry for any background noise you may hear during this video. Um, when I got in the gaming room, there was a bit of humidity, so I have a dehumidifier on that drops the humidity, but if I have a point at a stoplight that I can go and turn that off, then I'll do that. But before I started recording, the humidity just got really bad. So you, should, you guys should uh, let me know what you guys would think of a setup tour since I haven't really done one for the channel here and I feel like it would be cool so you guys could see my setup. I might do one regardless but it would just be cool to hear what you guys would want to see or if you guys would like to see that. And it, it also has been nice getting feedback from you all. Like, I have these monthly recaps, and I can see how much 
you guys reached out like as far as likes and comments and stuff and it was really cool to see um, just how much feedback I got I don't know who set the speed limit to 75, but that, is, that should not be the speed limit. I'm probably only going to be doing 55 because 65 and I'm not even going to try 75. They're just way too fast through some of these turns through here. I also noticed in my last video that I was just breathing a lot, and I'm going to be trying to get better with that. Like, I noticed that after every sentence I was pausing and I would breathe in like really heavily and it's just kind of funny to hear but I'm gonna be trying to fix that in the sex it here. Uh yeah, I slowed down way too much there. some of these AI traffic collisions. Sometimes they just take forever to resolve. Didn't think I'd see, be, I'd see that in the game. Voting. Because I don't think the real billboards mod has done that in the past.
drop to 30. Holy cow. Oh, engine brakes are prohibited. That's great. Oh, because we're in a residential area. Okay, I didn't see all those houses before. This is cool. I haven't seen this before. That would be cool if they would fine you for using engine brake in an area where there is signage saying to not do so. Another voting billboard. They really want you to vote. Do these uh, billboards in the game here?
thing I'm already trying to do 55. Oh, stoplight. It's a pretty cool looking jet. I don't even know what jet that is. I've come across multiple jets here and even I think I came across a DC-6 and then a B, I think it was a B-52 that I came across. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember what the second one was, but I know the first one was a DC-6. I don't know what that one is though. It almost, it reminds me of an F-18, but it's not. I don't know. It totally came over in the other lane there, my bad. I always like to slow down before going over bumps in this game, just so it's not so jarring. doing. I was totally at the accelerator headed for that. Moon looks pretty cool over there. As you can see on the GPS, we're just about to the destination. Speaking of GPS, Zmods came out with an updated version of his GPS voice mod, and I've used the GPS in the ETS2 series, but what would you guys think about using one more often and maybe bringing one over to the American Truck Simulator series? Feel free to let me know, or... I don't know. I'll just experiment with it. And if I come out with a video where I use it, if you don't want to type, then you could like or dislike if you want. I always like getting feedback so I know what you guys want to see, what you guys like and don't like. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get lined up. As best we can, anyways. Oh, this trailer, this not really like to turn now does it
also, I guess I turned off my reverse beeper at some point. Why is the truck not going into reverse? There we go. That was really weird. Kind of trying to make the turn pretty gradual as we're still kind of right up on a trailer to our right side. Just a little straightened and we should be good. doing it again. I don't know why it's doing that. There we go. There we go. Hey, we're on time. And we leveled up, too. Let's go ahead and keep it balanced, and we'll probably go for... Let's see. It would also be cool if you guys, if you want, just to let me know what to put investment points into. Let's do high value for now I'm just trying to keep them kind of balanced as possible and then if we take a look at some of the used trucks oh yeah we could definitely afford one we could even afford like a newer Volvo or a Mac or some or a Cascadia yeah we could definitely afford some good trucks uh, feel free to let me know if you guys have any suggestions I know I've kind of Asked a lot um, for you guys to let me know, let me know, let me know. But um, as always, you don't have to, but it would just be cool. I probably will put out a community post on trucks and just what brand. And then once I narrow it down to brand, then we can choose a specific model that's available in the used truck section. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, episode 14, where we hauled anhydrous ammonia from Gallup to Clovis. Um, we drove 378 miles and earned around 19 grand. Um, feel free to like, dislike, subscribe, um, and if you do subscribe, I would recommend putting on the notification bell as my videos are kind of far apart. So that way you'll be notified when they do release. Um, I upload on Saturdays and Tuesdays and I try my best to make that every week. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll be seeing you guys hopefully in the next one. Take care y'all.